We had um, the Erdiston Primary and the Carrington Primary. The, the, those, those, those two schools disappeared and the emergence of the George Lamin Primary School. So it is not really a, a thing to make noise about. I believe that we have to understand the social dynamics, the educational dynamics, um, and how they're all caught up within various policy initiatives. So, I, I, very simply renaming the school does not simply change its character, does not change its culture, does not change its purpose. Uh, what you have to do is you have to build upon solid foundations and to realize that within the name, you're able to draw on the, the, the persona, you're able to draw on the talents and to have a reflection um, of the school through the, through the person that who's, that, you know, through the person whose name now the school carries. So there is not a, a thing of renaming foundation or Harrison College or any of those. All of those um, schools historically have been named by particular persons and bequeath a particular group of persons and then bequeath to the people about it. So uh, that is, to me it is a, a straw person, some persons at a time like this are willing to draw across the trail. There is one other school to be renamed and in time and that school will be so renamed um, to reflect the dynamics of some outstanding personality within the Barbadian community. What, what school is that? Well, we, we have the St. James Secondary School mm -hmm. as one of those to also be renamed, and that has already been done, but we will do that just two, two Fridays from now after the St. Lucy's Secondary School. St. Lucy's Secondary School, even though carry the name Darrell Jordan, will always be a school in St. Lucy. It will not be a school in St. Thomas, or it will not be a school. When we started in the 1990s building, the Dighton Griffith. Queen's College is located on a new site in Husbands, still Queen's College. Um, the St. Thomas uh, Secondary School is now called the Lester Vaughan Secondary School. So these are things that are routine, these are things you do to reflect pride in your people. To me, it stems from a lack of understanding about education in Barbados and the naming or renaming of schools. Um, if any person mentions to me that Coleridge and Pie would be renamed, that means they don't understand the origins and the naming of those schools, just like Harrison's or Pressure Foundation um, or Queen's College or any of those schools, or The Lodge for that matter. Um, those historical schools, those early grammar schools, were all gifts by some benefactor to either poor whites in Barbados, whites or, or whatever you had in those days. And therefore there were bequeath to the people of Barbados generally. And therefore they're not names that you go and change because they're, they are in fact bequeath. The schools that we've made um, changes, there were some primary, um, schools where historically uh, they would be named after a, a street or village in their community. And through the ministry and obviously then through cabinet, we thought it necessary to reflect what I call persons who have made outstanding contributions in the area of education or community development or whatever to give the school a, a naming regime that lends prominence to it as a result of the contribution of those individuals um, who, were, who were part of it or otherwise. Um, persons will have nostalgia to the particular name. There are schools that were named after parishes in Barbados, um, particularly in the countryside. The West St. Joseph School became the, Grant the Adams Secondary School because of its political representation of St. Joseph and his being the first um, leader of the Federation of the Federated States of the, of the West Indies. And, and there was no noise about that. Um, the Darrell Jordan School, St. Lucie Secondary, 
is one which required the name of his first principle and his outstanding contribution to education, but more particularly to the people who went to school there. They've not made any noise. They've not had to express any concern. Um, with Garrison Secondary, which got its name from the village location, um, Garrison next door, there's not been any noise. There have not been any issues relative to that. I've heard some rumbles relative to St. James Secondary. But you know, a lot of things are stirred up by individuals who want to prove a given point. At the end of the day, persons of goodwill, persons of some character, persons who understand their history uh, will understand that we always make changes to, to achieve given purposes in life. And um, the, the seven or so schools that have been renamed over the last seven years were done to reflect um, that within the community. Any school that is built, we, we built um, a property to Talma Barry and she was a general worker in St. David's and people spoke of her with such awe and because of the work, so you name that. Um, the Maria Holder uh, School, because of her love for Barbados, Barbadians, young people, um, and of course the benefaction which was brought to that. Um, so those were new institutions, the Blackman Gollop, to, to, to speak to the work of Sir Clyde Gollop and Wilfred Blackman. And these are new schools. So it isn't a really nitty going around changing schools. It's schools which have a strong attachment.